You forgot your accordion. You're only nine tenths of the nine without it. No, you can't leave it. It's the perfect accompaniment to your shrill voice. Your little boyfriend will never get to fully appreciate the thrill of one of your deceitful whore polkas. This is not a musical instrument. It's a crowd dispersal device, a social enema. You're lucky I didn't leave you. Wait. Wait. Wait! Hold on. Can we talk about this? Inside? I mean, don't you think we owe it to each other? Listen, okay, I just wanted to ask you how you were gonna channel Satan to expose all my faults. I mean, come on, how are you gonna do that, huh? Without your... God damned accordion. Smart water? You know what would help your finances, Mason? An inheritance. Well, I'll keep my fingers crossed if someone in my family drops dead soon. You need some kind of a money plan. Now forgive me if I find it difficult to take financial advice from a woman who until recently thought that a 401k was a really long fun run. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have a retirement plan. You're just lucky I thought you were getting fat. You know what would really help my retirement fund? Being able to work, uninterrupted. So why don't you leave my finances alone for a while and let me write this jingle. Has anyone ever told you you're hostile towards women? I'm not hostile towards women. It's okay, you won't be for long. I'm not now. I find it difficult to take financial advice from a woman. You felt the need to point out that I'm a woman, and not in a strictly informative sense because I have mannish hands. You do realize that as my agent, it's in your best interest that you let me work? I mean, isn't that why you instigated stupid career time every afternoon so that I could work on my career without distraction? Neither of us will have a career if I can't write jingles. I can't write jingles if I can't focus. I am a professional. I need focus. I crave focus. Jennifer! Hi, how are you? Can I get you anything? A cocktail or something? I just came over here to talk to Ashley. Oh. Well, Ashley's not here, but... Uh... I'm in here. Hmm. Damn it, Ashley. What the hell? Don't take your hostility out on Ashley. I'm not hostile towards women. And wouldn't you be a little hostile if your friend was hanging out in your kitchen without your knowledge? Mason, I lived in a garage for two years. I was lucky if I didn't get run over in my sleep. And yet you expect me to take career advice from you. It was a big garage. I went over to your apartment, but you weren't there. I thought I was hungry, but I might just be bored. I know I'm hungry. You don't have food at home either? I haven't been to the grocery store in like five years. Do you think Mason will mind if I grab a snack? I'm starving. Mason's not really the snack type. You sure? Because he should sign up for a 401k. Oh, there was a reason I wanted to talk to you. Guess what I saw on my way back from the hardware store? I told you that pothole doesn't look like the Virgin Mary. That's not what I'm talking about. But last week, my pinky toe ate, and this week it doesn't. I'm just saying. Look at this. A vegan restaurant? Someone got herself all citified. No, not that. This. Mason jarred? I want to make a home canning joke here, but I'm drawing a blank. Oh, no, I'm hungry for jam. 
It's a one-person show. Doesn't that cartoon look like Mason? I don't know. This guy looks all pale and constipated. It's uncanny. Oh, talk about a canned ham. I think Mason's performing a one-person show. In his living room? At the Elephant Theater in Hollywood. All the information's there on the flyer. Except for the parking. That's not possible. It is. They never tell you about parking because there is no parking. What's wrong with this scenario? Well, strangers make Mason hostile. And oh yeah, he never leaves his apartment. Lou has been kicking us out of here every afternoon for the past two weeks. Maybe she's taking him to a theater or something to do a show. About how he can't leave his house? How would she do that? Some sort of agoraphobic underground railroad? Lou does not strike me as the Harriet Tubman type. No. Well, maybe. I don't know. I need a snack. Don't waste your time. Two things I know about Mason. He wouldn't do theater, and he never has good snacks. I need to start turning around more. Uh, what about your career? Have you considered that this afternoon I may have more immediate needs? More than you know. Oh, I'm just saying that Jennifer is here, and... And what? And she has snacks. Oh, a lot of snacks, but that's it, nothing else. These aren't for you, and you two need to go. We have to go. Yes, it is the afternoon after all. Nothing escapes you, Jennifer. If you're hiding something from me, it's okay to just tell me. What? Hiding? What? Tell you? What? No one's hiding anything, especially nothing that's about to start soon that you two can't be a party to or eat the snacks of therein. Oh! No, it's okay. You guys need to go. There's nothing to be afraid of. They're leaving. My name is Lou. See? I have mannish hands. Man. This one's skittish. Oh, Mason, it's gonna be a hot time in the old town tonight. <laughs>